Sharia property. Why is buying and selling property labeled Sharia property, while buying and selling other goods is not labeled Sharia, such as buying and selling bicycles, buying and selling cell phones, or buying and selling books for example? Interesting to discuss. Actually, if a property transaction a house where the physical house is ready and the payment is made in cash, there is no need to use a Sharia label. Buying and selling is the same as buying and selling other goods. However, property transactions are very complex and have many variables, so they must be fenced off with Sharia signs, so that offside does not violate Sharia provisions. It's a shame that house transactions are of enormous value but are carried out in disregard of Islamic Sharia law. The following is recorded in Sharia property, including Payment. Not many people have the ability to buy a house in cash. An alternative solution is payment in installments or what we know today as KPR, home ownership credit. For payments in installments, especially for a long period of time, five years, for example, Sharia regulations are needed, such as avoiding unlawful practices, including interest, riba, late payment fines, insurance, asset confiscation, etc. Then is it permissible to involve a third party, e.g. a bank, as a provider of purchase funds? That's also a record. Readiness object for sale. The object for sale in the form of a house or landlot or apartment is sometimes not ready for handover. Developers as providers of home products we often encounter have started to sell even though the land has not been cultivated and even the boundaries of the selling object have not been seen. Or a parallel developer while selling while taking care of licensing. This practice is what we know as inden. It becomes a record again if the project developer fails while the consumer has already paid. Developer conditions. Developers as providers of products in the form of houses also have their own records such as development regulations, handover techniques, and other terms and conditions related to consumers. Not to mention the relationship between developers and landowners, or developers and financiers, investors, or developers and contractors, and others. This article was written as an introduction to answering why it has to be Sharia property, it has not yet discussed in detail the concept of Sharia property in more detail. Insya'Allah, in the next article, we will discuss and dissect in more detail A to Z regarding Sharia property. We are grateful that the concept of Sharia property emerged along with the understanding and demand of people who are aware of Sharia getting stronger, while the conventional concept of home ownership is considered not to represent Sharia rules. The current concept of Sharia property is not fully compatible with the current system, there is still a lot of friction. However, insya'Allah, with the consistency of Sharia actors, they will continue to bring changes towards Sharia. And of course it is also a note for the state as a policymaker that the Sharia market is very large, it is time for Sharia aspirations to be facilitated.